Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, today's beer is Smutty Nose IPA. This is from the Smutty Nose Brewing Company out of New Hampshire. It is an American IPA and it comes in at 6.90% ABV. This is a year-round serving. The glassware for this should be either a tumbler, a mug, or a pint glass. You can use a stein if you wanted. Uh, the food pairings for this beer, the cuisine would be the curry, the Thai, the cheeses would be the peppery, the Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, Limburger, your gorgonzola, uh, the meat would be poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, which is you know pretty common for most of your IPAs. But as I keep saying, I mean you could do this with burgers or, or steaks or chops. So it, I think it goes well with all that. So let's get the lid off this thing and get it in a glass. That poured a cloudy, amber, orangey type head. A lot of bubbles coming up through there, going to the top. Lacing looks fair in the glass. Let's give it a smell. Oh, that's got a good hop aroma there. I mean, I've been doing a lot of hoppy beers lately here, uh, but uh, I'm a hop head and I like the hoppy beers. This is a uh, fairly hoppy beer. It comes in at 65 IBUs as far as the bitterness. Uh, uh, it's got a citrusy hop flavor, I mean a smell. They use Simico and Saniam's hops, and then they use Amarillo hops too. Uh, according to them, the beer itself is a light bodied and crisp with a golden color that, that has a slight haze as they bottle it unfiltered. It says, uh, this is definitely not a training wheels IPA, but it's meant for hop lovers looking to satisfy their craving in a way that's not easy to find. Like I said, the ABV is 6.9% dry hopped and unfiltered. So uh, let's give it a taste and see what we have. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's a little stronger on the the bitterness. Uh, it's not quite as balanced as some of the other beers, but that is a good beer. Got more of a bitter, a bitter bite to it than, uh, say the, uh, say some of the Southern Tier beers uh, would have. But uh, I'm going to step on this and we'll be back in a little bit and I'll give you my final thoughts and grades. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've got just a little bit left. This is a pretty good beer. I mean, this is right in between uh, being too hoppy if you're not a hop head and not hoppy enough if you're a hop head. The, uh, this, the, the I'll be using like 65 on this and it's, uh, the, uh, the I'll be used on the Green Flash Brewery hop head was like 45 and the West Coast IPA was like 95 so this in between those two if uh, if you like a, a hoppy beer but the 95 is a little too strong you might want to try this so yeah let me give it a final chug and see what we get the final grade here That's a pretty good beer. Being a hop head, I really like that beer. It's uh, it's really uh, rich in the hops. It's got a good malty caramel bread. I mean, you can you can you can smell the the pineapple, the uh, 
the piney resins I mean it's it's got it all going on so if you've had that leave a comment let me know what you think if you had you can get it give it a try let me know what you think and subscribe and guys we'll see you on the next one